Hello, beautiful ones. This is Miss Arkitha's Soul to Soul Connection coming to you with Aries. April 2019 reading. Um, this will be an oracle and tarot reading. All the messages may not resonate with you, but the messages that do resonate with you, please run with them. These are your angels, your spirit guides, the universe, God trying to get through to you to let you know how your soul journey is going thus far. All right. I want to say that this has been a very therapeutic spring thus far, and it's just started clearing out all the things that does not serve us. So let's see where our Aries lie. If you would like a personal reading, all of my information would be below to contact me. And I would also like to say thank you for coming to my channel, sharing love with me. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. All right, so let's get started, beautiful ones. <laughs> Starting with my soul journey cards. What does the angels want to tell you thus far for April? I know I've come into it a little, like the second weekend, but that's okay. That is okay. I like to sometimes marinate in the month before I bring my readings to you, you know? So... But just know, I always come back, my beautiful ones. And let's see what April, uh, April holds for our Aries. Mmm, April. Oops, there we go. Oh, we got a, a, yes, there we go. All right, Aries. What is going on with our Aries? Mm-hmm. All right, let me see. A couple more cards. Yeah, there we go. I think this one. Yep. All right. All right. Let's see what we have for you, Aries. I know that you have truly been working on clearing out all the things that don't serve you. But far as our Aries, we are still going to worry about some things, aren't we? We're still going to have some things churning, some things in the back burner, you know, that's really, <sighs> that's really doing, I'm going to say, a toll on us. Because we know that change is coming and we know that we are changing. And we know that we are evolving, but we still can't let that judgment go. That judgment of how far we've come, how much further we can go, and why is this taking so long? You know, all the things. It's given us grief. Aries has given us some grief. But just know that I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. To appreciate all the rewards that that opportunity gave us all the things that we learned from those opportunities all the things that you know make us made us nourish thus far you know and just know that any challenges you know any challenges that come your way you know are made for you to push you forward to teach you things to show you either you're on the right path or not on the right path so don't look at any other body else's path and their journey and like why is it does it seem so easy for them but aries everyone's journey is everyone's journey it's all about the love and the friendships that you hold right because they're going to be the ones that's going to gather around you to let push you forward to let you know that you know you're 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 making strides you are truly changing but you know sometimes change is a bumpy thing sometimes change um is a rough ride in the beginning in the beginning, because what it's going to teach us is which way we are never to go again. You know, making sure we don't never go down that same road that really didn't do much for us, that really didn't um, nurture, us, nurture us to the next level because you're on the way to some major growth. So April is still a time for you to understand 
how far you've come, where you're going, how much further you have to go, you know, and, you know, do it with a smile on your face. Because when you are in a constant of worry and just a constant of wondering and judging all your steps and did I make grieving over it and did I make the right decisions and, you know, am, am I, you know, the person that my loved ones, um, I guess, am I someone for them to look up to and am I um, making my mark in this world? Your answer is yes. Okay, your answer is yes. So what you're going to have to do in order to fully embrace the change that's coming and allow room for it, Aries, is you're going to have to surrender, surrender to the situations. And this doesn't matter if this is a, a career change. This doesn't matter if this is a love change in your life. This doesn't matter um, if this is a family change in your life. You have to surrender to it. When you surrender to it, you allow room for the universe to work on the situation for you and to give you, you know, give you the uh, the nuggets, the ideas that you need to move you forward because you are truly moving forward. It's just sometimes um, it seems like a stagnant move forward. Um, it seems like you're really not, you know, um, making the strides or the steps that you feel like you should at this time. But again, as every, and when, when, uh, as springtime comes about, you're still nurturing yourself. You're still nurturing, um, your relationships. You're still nurturing who it is to be you Aries and what you really want to get out of your life right now. So, that's kind of where you're at because you are, you know, you really want to make big strides, Aries, but at the same time, you don't want to make any like bad moves per se. Like, you know, you don't want to um, make such a move in your mind that that is going to th just throw you off course. Um, now that it, it, that's always a possibility of, you know, happening and that's always a possibility of, um, um, transpiring but that's why we have free will okay so and that's why we open up our intentions to the universe and open up our attentions to positive energies to give us the correct information to give us the correct you know warning signs when when things are you know okay hold up you're going okay you're going about this a little wrong open up your mind to the whole situation don't make any drastic moves okay and that's the thing with you um sometimes sometimes you tend to make drastic moves hoping for it to open up the doors that you are really you know um uh, hoping to open up and then something bad happens because that you were not supposed to go through that particular door at that particular time it's all divine. I'm going to keep saying this is my season of saying this. I think this is this is um, a season of everything happening happening in divine order and with in divine timing. Although it seems like a bad time for all of these things to be folding out in front of you right now, the universe is setting it up on the back end, um, putting the right people in play so that. When it happens, it's really going to happen and you're going to be ready for that change, for that transition, for that change to come about. Okay. All right. So that's what it's looking like. You know, you, um, right. You are in a place where you feel like that's too many. I'm going to put those back. Um, yeah, you're in a place where you feel like things and it still wanted to come up. So, okay. Right. Right, 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 right. So Aries, this and yes, this is a most definitely a transformational time for you. You got the transformation card. So beautiful. You are experiencing an enormous change right now, which brings great blessings, which is the energy that I'm getting from you right now. And it's a hard transformation, too. It's not like an easy transformation. It's not like 
your transformation is not coming with this bumps and bruises, okay? But what they're telling you, the angels are telling you right now, you just be strong, be your stronger than you think you are, and you your strength assures a happy outcome, which I did get the happiness card in the beginning. When you're happy, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, okay? Now, you may not feel the, you know, the full um oomph of spring right now but right what's going to happen is you're going to get your you're going to get your um spark you're going to get it by the end of april you're going to say okay okay I, I you know you've been able to breathe you've been able to bring it in you are a magical a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality and that's what it is so basically right now in april is for you to get clear intentions Focus on your clear intentions. Where, what, Aries, what do you really, really desire? Like that. Let me write that down. Clear intentions, Aries. What do you really desire? Clear. List, it, it, clear intentions, okay? What is it that you really desire? Really really desire and, and the reason why I keep saying that because it's the way it's coming through to me because you think you know I think what you think you know what it is that you truly desire but you're not you're not even putting the icing on it far as how much you can really manifest you know you really have to really be in the place of marinating in it i know i say this kind of a lot but marinating in what you desire right now so that's and don't back down from it see because what you think is best for you the universe thinks 10 times further ahead than that you know what i'm saying they add in all the flavor to what our little mediocre dream is really our dream is like a drop in the bucket to what they have for us for us okay not they're not doing this to us for us so don't back down stand up for what you believe is right and keep working on setting boundaries you know because when you're in your season of growth a lot of people are not going to understand that a lot of people are going to think that you're being stagnant okay and you're not because sometimes you have to hunker down. Sometimes, Aries, you have to really be in it to understand where you're at, if that makes sense. I hope that really does because you have to be in it to really understand where you're at. And that's where you're at. You're at the point where you're setting your boundaries. You're understanding, you know, okay, in order for me to make this next step, I have to have a clear clear intention on this transformation because I know I'm transforming. I know that I am growing. Growth is mine. So as long as you understand that and as long as you embody that, you're going to continue to grow. You're, but if you are always in the mindset of how far you have not come and ha all the things that you have not done, then that is where you're going to be. So stop all the judgment. Stop all the judgment. It's not helping you to grow. Continue to be on the line of my universe my ancestors, my prophets, my guides, my spirit guides, my angels, my, I have so many spiritual loving beings on my side. It is no way that I can fail. That's the attitude, Aries, that you need to have in order to succeed because it, at, at times it can be a truly hard road, but it's about how we travel that road, Aries, how we come on, out on top okay it's about the way we travel it it's about the way we embodied embodied our our journey yes yes most definitely but you're doing it it's coming it's just that you know anything worth having is worth fighting for Aries and you are definitely a fighter if nothing else, a fighter. And I'm talking about my men and I'm talking about my women, Aries. You're going to make this happen. Gaia, let them know. Look, you're popping up. There we go. Oh, see, I, like I said, 
like I said, come on, dude. You got this, Aries. You got some of the best Gaia cards you can get. First one out, achievement. Achievement is yours. You're achieving. You've already achieved a lot, so much. You have to be proud of yourself about this. Keep focused on your dream. Clarity, clear intentions about what you desire. The dream, something is revealed, insight, breakthrough. Like I said, by the end of this month, something, a spark will come about that's going to let you know that you're on the right path or if not, which direction you need to go, Aries, this is going to happen. And then you got the tree of life, boo-boo, the tree of life. Can't get no better than that, okay? Look, you have fertility, creativity, destiny, magical blessings, honey. The tree of life, that's what you have. Aries, that's who you are. You make it happen. You make magic, you make, uh, <laughs> you make, you know, things shine that are, that, that are dull. You do that. You have that gift of gab and you have that personality. And of course you're going to succeed. Of course achievement is yours. You just have to believe it. You just have to know it. You just have to embody it. Aries, embody it. This is going to be a fruitful spring for you and growth is yours. Just set your intentions. Just set them and you are going to uh, be that achiever. You want to achieve all the things that you set your mind to. Well, all the things that's meant for you. Okay. All right. I want to leave you with that, my beautiful Aries. Just know I love you. You've got this. It was in you before you even got here, okay? Again, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share all of this beautiful or Miss Arkeitha love. And I will be back with more videos, of course. And just know that you are stronger and wiser and more beautiful than you ever thought you were, my beautiful Aries. All right? All right, now I'm going to leave you with some peace. Love and tranquility. There you go. Namaste.